Hello, everybody. Here with Virtue's Last Reward. This is kind of loud, I think. So let's... Here? Uh, I don't know, Techie. CJ might be able to answer that better than I can. Or Devin. I have no idea how connected these two games are. Let's get started. Oh, man. I'm still getting adjusted to these. It's hard to get used to them when I'm, like, getting a different prescription and, like, fit every couple weeks until I find the right one. It was good. I didn't have many, uh, my expectations were pretty low, so it was a pleasant surprise. Um, it had its ups and its downs, but I'd say it was mostly good. Enough so that I actually want to continue playing, right? Because if I didn't like it, I'd just like, eh, that's enough for the series. But yeah, the twist was good. Uh, I was very pleasantly surprised at the ending. I expected the ending to be a lot more bleak. Just in case you didn't know. Hmm. Ah. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Sigma? Really? Damn it. It's like my head's gonna explode. Wait. The hell am I? Looks like an elevator, Isn't that but. Obvious? Oh. Oh. Gah. Who the hell are you? Um, hello? 
Right, okay. Let's try a different tack here. Where the hell are we? Also, while we're at it, why? No response? You always this friendly, or did I kick you while I was sleeping? Damn. No luck I'm there either, huh? Friendly. Do the actual character model this time. That's really interesting. What? I said I'm plenty friendly. Did I stutter? Hey, looks like you can talk after all. So let's try this again. Where are we? Don't know. Oh my. What is this? Black magic. Huh. Well, could be worse, I guess. You could have said... Actually, we're stuck in a booby trap elevator with... In the bowels of a top secret government facility where they conduct gross, grotesque human experiments. Oh. I did not say that. Right, back to the first question then. Who are you? By which I mean, what's your name? Sigma. Q. That's my name. I'm asking you what. Wait a second. How do you know my name? I haven't met you before, no, have you I? Haven't. I don't have any idea who you are. But But what? How could you know my name if you don't have any idea who I am? How the hell am I supposed to know? Helpful. Yeah, right? Former Maverick Hunter's Sigma. Hold on a second. Oh well. Oh well. Oh I just know it, okay? Oh, damn. Hey! Whoops. Don't need to bite my head off. Just, you're not really making any sense here. You still haven't told me who you are. Uh, remind me, what year did the first game take place? It was never said. Okay. Thank you. There's not a spoiler chat yet. Um, I suppose I could make one now that we're beyond the first game. Oh, there is? Did I make that? Oh, Lord. Tells you how out of it I've been. I do not remember doing that. You still haven't told me who you Shut are. Shut up! Just back off, Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa? Look, I just don't know, alright? It's just kind of... there. 
Like, I looked at you, and some part of my brain just said, that's Sigma. <laughs> Hold on a what second. What do you think this thing is? Huh? This bracelet? See, you've got one too. They're pretty much identical. <laughs> yeah. You're right. It's on already when I woke up. It might be this light that's blistering into my eyes. <laughs> my now very sensitive eyes. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Unfortunately, it means I won't look as good for you people out there. So I apologize, but... <laughs> Until I get used to these things, I can have that light shooting me in the face. They're super sensitive. I haven't figured out what it's for yet, though. <laughs> well, doesn't seem like it's a watch, does it? No, it's just got a three and the word pair. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to shit. What does it look like? <laughs> Trying to get it off. Good luck. <laughs> That's what she said? Yeah, it. you have to have the escapist role. I don't think we ever added that to the uh, role requests. Did we add that to the role requests? Is that something else that I forgot? <laughs> or do I have to give it to him? Probably gonna have to add rain code to that too. Actually, rain code seems like it might be more, like make more sense to put rain code with AI. Since those are more like investigative stories, whereas this is an escape story. It is under row request? Okay. Yeah, it should be in the same area then. They're all in the class trial room area. I spent a while trying to get mine off while you were napping. Son of a bitch. It's on pretty tight. Doesn't even have a clasp or anything. <laughs> Looks like all you need is a flathead. About these buttons on the side. I pressed them, but nothing happened. <laughs> Not even a beep. Yeah, you're right. Nothing. Damn it. The hell's going on here? Someone better start explaining or Hey, look. What? There's something on that screen over there. What? It's a white rabbit. Those of professional wrestling will be really excited right now. Who caused the world to end? You did. Brain code. Yeah, sorry, my stuffiness is probably making it sound like I'm saying something else. Yeah, uh... Devin, if you want to take a couple minutes, I reacted to the trailer. Uh, and I posted the video yesterday. So it should be up on the channel. Of course, Discord didn't post it. It's not posted on Discord because YouTube bot shat itself again, as it is known to do. I am Zero the Third, the king of this kingdom! Why the third? <laughs> what the hell is that? A rat? That is not a fucking rat. Uh, no. Pretty sure it's a rabbit. Who looks at this as, like, a rat? Somebody who's obviously never seen a rat before. Or a rabbit. I'm sure you've got lots of questions. It just seems silly to have a big old chit-chat right now. So, I'm gonna give you a game to play. A game. Yes, yes, yes. I'm calling it. 
An honor with a U of joining first stream in a while. Upside down smile. I'm actually running out of these. To replenish my supply soon. I did remove the orange juice counter though. In favor of this new sleeker design. Oh. Which I hope you agree. To me it looks better. Also gives us more, uh, uh, stream, game stream. Okay, did Aziz and Zari <laughs> voice this dude? <laughs> I totally imagine Tom Haverford screaming this in Parks and Rec. There's more to it. Lots more. Wow, you just kind of. If I told you now, that would be cheating. So, hurry up and get out. I'll be waiting. So, it seems like they're they went to uh they wanted to make it more of a monokuma thing which like i understand this bike turns off after all uh but i'll be honest i liked how gritty the difference with zero was compared to monokuma in the first game i not that monokuma is bad but i liked that the game went its own way with it it did like a, a gritty like jigsaw sort of guy Instead of, oh, high-pitched mascot. Like, it was it was a nice change of pace. But now they've gone back to that. So we'll see if that ends up being good or bad. John Ralphio is, like, low-key the best character in that entire show. Him, Ron Swanson, and, uh... Ah, uh, fuck, what's his name? can never remember his first name. The Native American guy. That guy's fucking hysterical. Does this start with a D? <laughs> not Stan. It's not Stan. Fuck, what's his name? I know two things about white people. They love Rachel Ray, and they are terrified of curses. <laughs> that guy's fucking awesome. Oh, man. Hey, hold, hold on. Who the hell? All right. I forgot to tell you the most important thing. This elevator you're in? It's been a fall in a few minutes. Oh. Hey. That's, uh, Wendy Lee, Clover's, uh, VA does zero. That'll be, that'll be interesting at least. I don't think I've known her in a role, kind of like a sadistic role before. Ken! Hotate! Yes! Thank you! Jesus, forget that. You know, it's really interesting that those shows are popular or at least people overseas watch it considering like it's american government american local government i'm not sure i can imagine like a a less interesting topic if i lived outside of the united states than local american government even if it's done hilariously Fall? Yes, so you better get moving. I'll see you later. Have a nice trick. The office sort of makes a little more sense because it seems like that sort of thing is more uh universal. 
in terms of like just like talking about normal people interaction as opposed to like literally this is how government works so that makes sense Cindy oh Cindy Robinson I don't think I know who that is she sounds like Wendy Lee maybe it's like a younger Wendy Lee <laughs> local American eats cheeseburger and dies but from dissatisfaction That's what happens to anyone that eats at White Castle. Yeah, yeah, see you next fall. I really, we really need a this fucking guy command. I just don't know. It, it'd have to be like Hyoko, that Hyoko face. Like this fucking guy. That joke wasn't any funnier in elementary school. Oh, I get it. Trip and trick, huh? Don't tell me you're impressed. Oh, for the love of... Damn it. Damn it! God damn it! This is bullshit! That stupid rabbit didn't tell us anything. Well, that's not exactly true. We actually got a lot of information divulged there in that little bit of information. One, it certainly seems like the implication is that we're trapped to some degree. Two, we, we have been trapped by somebody in particular. Three, they don't want to show us... Uh, they don't want to tell us their identity. Four, they apparently don't believe that they need to tell us anything about each other. Like, those things tell you something. Did I get ping... Didn't I ping everybody? Oh, no, I just... Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, I forgot that these games were older than Danganronpa. Yeah, you're, you're right, you're right. So it's, I guess Monokuma then could be a more evolved form of the rabbit. In which case that makes more sense. I keep for, I keep thinking these games came out after the first Dragon Rampa did, but they did not. I know, right? Tommy was so was very like particular about his roles. Well, I'm trying to forget my shitty day too. So I'm looking for uh, additional work. And because we have a lot of things we'd like to do that require additional money. Things are expensive these days, after all. Um, <laughs> the interview I had today, what I did not expect, I, I, I prepared a lot for the interview. One thing I did not expect was the person Interviewing me to be so out of it. Like. You could just, just tell she had a day. I haven't had that happen to me before. So it kind of threw me off. Not going to lie. But live and learn. That's good. I mean, that just shows you. You could have a shit day one day. The next day could be really good. Or at least better. Anyways, always think about what you are told. Just because it doesn't seem like it's a lot of information doesn't mean it isn't actually a bunch of information. Wait, did VLR release in 2012 in where? So this game did come out after the first Dying Run. Well, and yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, you're supposed to see the fit. I did that intentionally. <laughs> I wanted to put a nice, happy face there for you guys to see. Okay, so it came out in the U.S. before Danganronpa 1 did, but it came out after Danganronpa 1 did. So, yeah, okay. All right, well, I stand by my original comments then. <laughs> At least it ain't ace. Fuck that guy. Oh, well, I guess whining about it isn't going to help anybody. Won't be able to get any answers if we can't get out of here. You with me? Come on, just nod or something. I don't want to die here any more than you. Let's go. That seems like a very odd response to what I just said. You with me? I don't want to die any more than you do. What the fuck? I'm not sure you can answer that more awkwardly. Like in earnest, in earnest, not something. Two sections, escape portion and the novel portion. So the novel, escape from whatever room you're in. Or just click anything on the screen, catch your attention, change camera angle. Hmm, okay. I like this significantly more already. Is that cyan? Yeah, I guess so. Mega Man's other color. Thought it was a little more of a bluish hue, but. Like this. Why are these colored like this? Oh, hey, this end is loose. Can you take it off? Oh wait, I'm not, I don't, let's see. Across, okay. So we're holding the... Valley Girl's my default girl voice. But if I remember correctly, I... S Can I... Oh, okay. I didn't voice these lines because there's so much... A baby. there's so much uh what you call it uh voice acting normally file, supple memory facts, novel sections, and in depth. 
Must get the escape. Okay. What? I see. ATM. <laughs> Forget how do you use items? Okay, so... your thing. I see. Okay. man and baby. Penta. You're a regular mechanic. Thank <laughs> you. 
So is it that everything that can move will move? I'm gonna start I'm gonna start from the beginning. My first move I was thrown off because I didn't realize what I thought you'd move them one by one. Okay, so let's see here. No, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Fuck! Ah! 
That's exactly what I wanted to do. Sweet, I did it! Shut up. Maybe. Plastic. Uh, let's do anything we have. Okay, let's look at the file. Oh. Uh, let's menu X. Oh, I could just go straight to archive, right? Okay, uh, life would be infinitely something if we could only be born at the age of 80 and gradually approach 18. Happier? Okay, this has, I can see it all. This just doesn't, it look, barely looks like a word. Like that could be an N or an H. These look like O's. Like this looks like, I, I would assume this is ER. Like that's, I think, clear enough. Especially since, you know, E's here. The same thing. Could be nappier. Anyways, okay, so one kid, wait. One baby, two babies, three babies, four babies. This looks like the guy from uh, Great Ace Attorney. One, wait, one, two, three, four babies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven old people. Four babies. Rabbits are there. Oh, do I actually have to go like? No, it can only be one at a time. This is a baby? I hope not. It won't let me... Okay. Here, 
Apparently everything I need is... I... I wish the stuff still lit up like it did in the first game. I actually thought that was super helpful. Wait, is it just old men? No, because that would have worked already. Alright, that's good to know. If I get them, I'll just kind of wait. Moon, moon, oh. Okay, so moon, star, sun. Even the sun and the star are the same. <laughs> the same. <laughs> ah. Okay, so moon, star, sun. Okay. I'm assuming there's nothing else in here, right? Zero was my guess there, since that's uh, not a great idea. Okay. I do appreciate that they assume you've played this having played the first game, because this is a little more difficult than... Uh, In the first uh, puzzle of the first game, but I'm fine with that. I think they should expect a little bit of a step up. Star, sun, moon. I'm always remembering shit. Ah, oh, but that's the escape password. Uh, okay, so... Question... Um, can I get the, uh, hidden files before getting the escape or do I, or is it like you have to get the hidden files before you get the escape, uh, file or whatever? We are. We are possum. I have not seen that video, CJ, and it sounds like I do not want to see it. Oh, you could get the file without looking at it. Okay. All right. That's good to know. Fuck. I don't remember what the damn... <laughs> what was it? It was like... This is moon. Was this... Wow, she's actually happy. Okay, but we don't have to use it. Where could the red... Where could the red one be? <sighs> OK. 
Okay. So, yeah, that's taken care of. The only thing I can think of is that... It'd be here. No! No! Okay. So where is the red chip? They did. They did bolt it. Can't like pick it up or anything. Might be underneath. I don't like that it corrects you. That I don't like that at all. items Yeah, I Is there something with the camera that I can do that I'm not doing? No, that's not the inverse. The inverse was this. Okay. There's no way I'm gonna brute force it. <laughs> I wish. I just tried to do various combinations of this particular... of this code. But I don't think any of them worked. I don't know. The odd thing is that there just isn't...
Uh, yeah, I know. anything about could indicate where the red thing is. It is, and that's nothing wrong with that. I just don't I, I, I don't see what else could be moved or like I they won't let me lift this up. I, again, I don't like that the stuff doesn't light up to know, like, exactly what I'm looking at. Because perhaps, like, if I click this, then just this would light up. But I know that I could click this separately, and this might say something different. Instead, I just have to click all over the place now. Is there something with the camera? that I did not catch the first time. Not the camera. Okay. It won't let me like walk around. I don't, it won't let me do that. Just like one of the wall panels, maybe? Like, is this something where I have to press that button for- wait a second. Okay, so they won't let me open that. That's- it's just for immersion, except that it makes you move. Uh... No, I didn't want to do that. I want to actually go to the... Where are, where are the actual options? I wanted to check something. I don't know how to get there. Yeah. Yeah, it's only the main menu. That's kind of weird.
Is it because that's my number? Uh, I guess? Oh, and zero the third. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, no way was I ever going to brute force this. <laughs> I already forgot what it was. That was a little simpler than I thought it would be. I'll try not to overthink it this time. Just do it! I don't remember how many rooms there were. Is he... is he joking? Don't most elevators have ceiling hatches? For safety purposes, if you get stuck? Yes, CJ, I'm aware. That is why I went to go check the panel. Because he said that as I checked the old man panel. I didn't see it for the baby one, but I did see it for the old man one. <laughs> Stare! That's six feet? He's gotta mean the distance between her head and the hatch, right? Because otherwise that doesn't make any goddamn sense. And this is the smallest fucking elevator I've ever heard of in my life. Your shoulders? I'm up on my shoulders. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Why? Something wrong? What? What's that look supposed to mean? What do you think I'm gonna do? Oh, come on. I'm just trying to be rational here. No ulterior motives, hand to God. Not like I'm hoping to get my face sandwiched between a girl's bare thighs. <laughs> That's why you don't say that aloud. I knew it. You sick bastard. I was just kidding. Right, look, I'm trying to get us out of here. You got any brilliant ideas that don't involve your thighs? Fine. On your knees. I'll get on your fucking shoulders. I bet that won't work out very well. What? You're a little tall for me to just jump up on your shoulders. Oh, well, thank you. And I'm certainly not going to give you the satisfaction of making me climb. So, Neil. Bend the knee! Okay. There, ready? Bring it on. <laughs> Thanks. A little step up is just what I needed. What? Wait, what are you going to do? You, we, go! Wow! She can fly? No, she can't fucking fly, and she wouldn't need a step up for that. You fucking more. How in the hell? She's got infinite hops. All right, give me your hand. 
What? Oh, uh. What the heck well, are I'm you? I'm not Superman, that's for sure. And I'm not Batman or Spider Man or Aquaman or Merman or a Wolfman. Well, I mean, if you're Aquaman or Merman, you'd be absolutely worthless in this scenario. I'm not a Brahmin or Common or Ramen. I'm not a Cayman either, so you don't really need to worry about anything. My name is Phi. <laughs> I guess you could say I am no man. Sigma Phi? We're about to get a frat, an actual frat together with all these people, huh? She's funny, bro. <laughs> Jokes for days. Just come on. One of these days, Witch King. Two girls, one cup. Oh. <laughs> Two milkmen go comedy. This looks like the fucking... Uh, like a dingier version of the Squid Games room. Whoa, what's up with this it place? It doesn't look like an elevator shaft. Yeah, no fucking shit, Sherlock. Some kind of warehouse, maybe. Or a hangar. A TIE Fighter hangar? Cause you know, I'd be fine with getting kidnapped if we we're suddenly in space. Yeah. It doesn't elevate. It wasn't going to go anywhere. That rabbit said it was gonna fall. He was just screwing with us. So it would seem. So it would seem. Well, I mean, it could alternatively be read as two go milkman comedy. It did not translate very well. No. <laughs> Forget it. Look. More people. Looks like an old guy, a young man. Are you sure? Those look kind of like action figures from where I'm sitting. Two girls and... A kid? They're all wearing bracelets. Probably safe to assume they're trapped here, too. Let's go say hi! Wait, let me guess. Let me guess. Your name's Delta. You're Theta. You're Beta. Even for Japan, that's ridiculous. Well, it's certainly not a bra. Egyptians didn't dress that way. It was this. It, it, I didn't think you could get much worse than Lotus. I was wrong. This is significantly worse than Lotus. Like God, why, why, why do there have to be so many things where if my wife were to walk in the room, she'd seriously contemplate divorce? Cause what the fuck is this? Totally unnecessary. I mean, don't get me wrong. She's fucking smoking. And if she came up to you and was like, Hey, Twain, I want to fuck. I'd be like, well, duh. But still. I don't even, I don't even mind the pants thing because sometimes my pants sag. And it sags more one way than the other. It's just something that happens. But this... And she fit it just so that it covered her nipples perfectly. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, pant, pant, pant while he's looking at this. Uh, yeah, of course. That's... Hey there! Any of you guys know what the hell's going on here? No, we don't. 
I haven't been out here much longer than you. They grabbed you too, huh? Grabbed? Oh, yeah. I got my car. I went to start the engine and then there was this white smoke. I think we all shared that particular experience. Is that so? Why is your necklace a bird inside a cage? That's not weird at all. The smoke seems to be some kind of general anesthetic. Also, when I woke up, I was in one of these elevators. I hate your hair. Let's just get that out of the way. Look at this fucking guy. All five of you were in one elevator? No. Mr. Dio and I were in the same elevator, but... Wait. Which one of you is Dio? That would be me. This little guy here is Quark. <laughs> of course he's Quark. Nice to meet you, mister. Sup? So what about the rest of you? Tenmi OG Alice and Luna all woke up in different elevators. Correct me if I'm wrong. Gee, I wonder which one is Luna. The one with fucking two gigantic moons on her chest, maybe? No, you've got it right. Is that how he said it? I wasn't even paying attention, but yeah, that's... that's... Ten me OG! Ten me OG. Ten me OG. Even that's still a little off, but it's closer. Yep. <laughs> and Alice is? Me. Oh! Fucking... Let's go. Let's fucking good for you, game. You threw me you threw me a curveball there. I wasn't expecting that. Well done. Well done. She's Luna. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. You sound like a moon if it talked and we're female. Um, hey, nice to meet you too. She's so nervous about it. how is he not? Like, this has to be a fashion thing in this world to just walk around with a big old necklace covering your bare chest because how has this not been addressed? Like, it has to be something that's said. This is not something you just kind of awkwardly avoid. You just, like, at least, like, be like, aren't you fucking cold? Would you like my shirt? That looks like that would be freezing. And you are? You have a fucking coat! Give it to her! Well, it's not like she'd close it anyways. Right, uh, I'm Sigma. This bundle of laughs is fine. Good to meet you all, I guess. Say that again. Say what again? Say what again? All right, Samuel Fi, relax. And this malnourished harpy is Fi. <laughs> Better? Master. Um, are you two? Ha! Not likely. The elevator was the first time we'd seen each other. I think. You think? Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Why? 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 We met just now in that elevator. That's the truth. Uh, hey, uh, see your bracelet there? Oh, uh, yeah, you can. Just, uh, uh chill out for a second. It's typical Sigma male mindset. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Hmm. And yours. Fi, right? Now, let me have a look. So we're a pair? Yeah. We're a pair, a three, so. a pair. Okay, that's interesting. So everyone's a pair. What? Quark, you and Dio show them your bracelets. Oh. We'll say pair and have a number three. Just like, 
buy that. Oh wait, the color's different. Ours are red. And yours are blue. Oh, sharp eye there. Fuck you, old man. What about yours? Uh, tell me old you, right? Show him yours too, ladies. Oh. I can write for this game. Red, blue, and green? They're different. Okay, so this is interesting. There's always one... If we go by the same rules, there's always one that will be left alone, and one of the solos will have to go with one of the pairs, and the pairs will always stay together. If it's all if it's all about nine, at least. You all got threes, but your bracelets say solo. Right. You figure it out then? Figure out what out? Sigma and I are the red pair. Dio and Quark are the blue pair. Each pair got put in the same elevator. But Tenmyoji, Alice, and Luna were all solos. So we got put in their own separate elevators. <laughs> I like this guy. I'm gonna be him when I when I get older. Just, uh, 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 uh. what do parents solo mean? Do we really have to answer this? I got the foggiest idea. Well, that's helpful. I don't know why we're split up like this either. Does any motherfucker? Did I ask you? Means? Maybe it has something to do with the game. Game? Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm calling it. I love how this is how he remembers it in black and white, like 1930s video footage. The game. You guys saw him too, right? That rabbit thing? Yes. In the elevator. He said something about the elevator falling. That was explained that after they'd escaped from their own elevators and gone around the warehousing room, we were in to test the doors. Fortunately, it turned out they were all shut tight and impossible to open. They had been about to try and open this door, the one with a nine on it, and Fi and I appeared. So, any chance this one will open? You think we'd have done it last if there was? There's some sort of, I don't know, machine off to the left here. Well, but... Give it a shot, why don't you? Huh. Looks like force probably isn't going to work either. Damn. Well, I didn't really think that'd work anyway. I don't think you'll be able to force that door with anything short of a tank. All right. Well, how about those three doors over there? I told you already. Oh, each one's got a digital lock on it. We can't pick the lock, and we can't break down the door. You sure about Why that? Why would I lie? I'm not saying you're lying. I just think you might be a little fucking <laughs> piss ant. <laughs> that doesn't have the requisite strength to force it open. Huh. Okay, are there any other ways no, out? Unfortunately, not that we've found anyway. Great. Well, there is one thing I'm a little curious about. Oh, does it? See, I can't see it now. Man, you are really fixated on that face. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the guy's face. Yes, yes, yes. I thought you were talking about like the actual chat stuff goes below into the donations. Okay, yes, yes. His entire face is there. He's looking at you. Sigma is looking at you. The 
And that is... She was looking. I mean, not that I blame her. Nobody else is addressing this shit. That means I know who was in which elevator. I watched all of you come out after all. And? Well, I was in the one third from the right. Tenmyoji was the second out. Your elevator was second from the left, I think. Mm, good memory. Yeah, that's where I was. Third was Luna. You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? Yes, that's the one. Dio and Quark were next. You came out of the elevator next to Luna's, right? Yeah, we did. And finally, the two of you were trapped in... The third elevator from the left. <laughs> yes. Wait, then... No one has come out of the leftmost elevator. Are you... Are you saying there's still someone in there? I mean, there might be nobody in there. I can't say for certain, but it does seem strange. Maybe we should go take a look. Okay. So her facial expressions are fine, but none of her facial expressions, none of Alice's facial expressions match her tone. Yeah, good idea. Hey, anybody in there? You can hear me, just, I don't know, make some noise. Nothing. Hey, look at this! Ambidex room? Is that some kind of card reader? Maybe it unlocks it or something. There is one next to each door. What do you think Ambidex room is supposed to mean? Well, it says it on all six of the elevators. Maybe it has something to do with the game that Zero was talking about. Oh, the Nonary Game Ambidex Edition? Okay, can we talk about your silly ass hat for a second? Those lights? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think we really need to worry about that right now, though. Should be figuring out what's inside this thing. Anybody got a key card? <sighs> no. Nah. I got nothing. He's not even dirt. He said nah, not gnaw. Because gnaw is gnaw. Oh, he said nah. Nah. That's an H, not a W. So they've taken everything we were carrying? Wonderful. I'm acknowledging it! So it must be said. The rest of us dug through our pockets as well, but it was pretty obvious that Dio was right. My own were completely empty. There wasn't even any lint in the creases. Maybe there's no one in there. I see a ringmaster, not a magician or a cowboy. But I can see why one might think magician or cowboy. The, the thing is, this isn't really a cowboy hat, and I think that's what throws it off. Like, it, it, it might give a little bit of an illusion that it's a cowboy, but it's not. <laughs> and the long hair, I guess. No! There is! There's well, gotta be! you so sure? Well, if it's a game, we have to be able to figure shit out, otherwise it's just we're stuck here. It's not a game, that's imprisonment. Huh? Uh, well... Um... No! Oh. What's that? Look! It's opening! There was someone in there. Why does everybody have... Okay. The athleticism of LeBron James. <laughs> what the... Who the fuck? Clover. Clover? Yeah, that was one thing that was kind of... No matter what you do, you're going to get spoiled to some degree. When I saw the uh, the wallpaper, I'm like, oh, Clover's back. What's going on here? Do you two know each other? What did you do to her? Nothing. She was like that when I woke up. Not the voice I was expecting. I really 
wouldn't worry though. She should be all right. Her breathing is steady. I believe she's only sleepy. Then she hasn't woken up since they kidnapped her. Uh, kidnapped? Begging your pardon, but I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Where are we? And who are you? Whoa, hold on. Can we talk about why you're in a goddamn suit of armor? How about you tell us who you are first? I think there was a picture for in the launcher that I was using for VLR. At least not that I ever looked at. But no, Devin, I can assure you, I will let you I can tell you when my seal was broken. Yours might have been at a different point in time. Mine was when I saw that thumbnail. Before that I had not seen her. Or if there was a picture of her somewhere from this game, I was not paying attention to it. But yeah, I mean, guess, guess my general point is that you you were probably spoiled to that before you started the game one way or another. Does what, what? What's what's the box art? She's probably on the. That's probably on the box art, right? Oh, Joe jokes. I must have missed that. My bad. Not prevalent enough for me to notice. You gotta be able to make your mind do what you need it to do. And that is avoid spoilers as much as possible. Unfortunately, when you're putting a thumbnail together, that's a little more difficult because you, you're kind of... You kind of have to look at the picture to see where you want to organize shit. You left out of that bro box just dressed like some kind of robot carrying an unconscious girl and we've only got your word that you didn't make her that way. Thank you all for an explanation, pal. Um, who am I? What? I don't remember. Sure, a likely story. I don't remember anything. I have no idea where I am, or who I am, or what day it is. If you happen to know any of those things, I would very much appreciate it if you share that information. Not knowing one's identity is... vexing. Oh yeah, very original. The amnesiac routine. Please. How are we supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing this... this... this robot suit? We can't even see your face! Are you gonna tell us someone forced you into that thing? I assume so? <laughs> Question mark? Seems the most reasonable explanation. This... it kind of sounds like, uh... Fuck, why can't I remember his name? From the from the first game, the main character. Can't remember. That. When I woke up, I was wearing this armor. I suppose you could call it. You look pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. Look, that's an odd choice of words. I'm wearing a mask. How would you know how I look? Yes, you know what I meant, you smartass. Uh... Although he's way bigger than than not Snake, the the main character. But he's like way bigger than him. Oh. She's waking up. Clover. Man, Junpei, yeah. June. Clover is just the most unlucky fucking person in the world. Are you okay? Come on, talk to me. Oh, wait, isn't Alice... 
uh, what's her face's daughter? I remember, didn't, wasn't the name, wasn't the name Alice brought up at some point in the last game? Maybe I'm thinking of, oh my god, are you fucking serious? Well, okay. Yes, her third one. Yes. Um, I'll give her a pass for her ridiculous outfit because at this point, I would have some mental trauma too and would probably have lost my mind. This hairstyle is just a cry for help. Lotus, okay, so, okay, so that's not what I'm thinking of. I could also be, like, putting two games together. I feel like Alice is a common name in, like, creepy games. Uh, this... Where are we? Like... She's been caught she's been caught up twice. It wouldn't surprise me if she had done some saw shit and like became the next zero. Like what's her face did. Oh, all ice. That's right. Once Clover had woken up, Alice explained everything we knew so far. She listened silently until Alice mentioned Zero and the notary game, and then her eyes went wide. What? <laughs> this is 100% not what they were going for in terms of emotion, right? 100%. Like... <laughs> In a way, it's kind of interesting because it looks like she's has like this crazed look on her face. <laughs> so, so I'll just take this as she's going fucking crazy. <laughs> oh god, I feel so bad for her. No, no, that can't. <laughs> I'm supposed to be sad. Because <laughs> if you're playing this game for the first time and you don't know that's a bug, you might think that, like, the smile means something. Like, oh, but she was smiling when she said those words. They don't add up. Well, really, it's not a thing. The blood drained from her face and she wrapped her arms tightly around herself. What did she know? Okay, so one thing I very much dislike, this is a personal preference. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with it from an like, objective narrative standpoint. I think this just varies from person to person. I cannot stand when a game knows that you know something based on prior knowledge and takes for fucking ever for that knowledge to finally get out in the open. So I hope that they don't wait very long before Clover actually talks about her past. Because we know her past at this point. And keeping it from the other characters is just annoying. Especially, like, your character. I guess the other character is whatever, but your character, because you know this as the player, should be filled in as soon as it narratively makes sense. As Alice continued to console Clover, the rest of us turned to questioning the mysterious man in the mask. When did you lose your memory? When? That's a difficult question. I suppose when I was born, I don't remember anything of my life. Assuming I have one. He, he sounds like younger than Ace. It might not be anybody from the first game, but... Having him mass leads me to believe it's a character that we know already. We asked him everything we could have. Birth date, address, occupation, family, childhood, but all he did was shake his head. I think he has generalized amnesia. 
It's a type of memory loss. Thanks for clarifying that. People affected by it retain knowledge like language, social common sense, memorized facts, abilities they've learned. But anything that has to do with um, themselves is just lost. It's a very serious condition. Very convenient condition. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological. But in very rare instances, it has been shown to result from severe head trauma. I, I, I'm not saying it isn't real or anything. I, I, I'm not saying that. It's just that for the sake of a story, it's always super convenient to be like, well, they just forgot everything about themselves. They still know everything else. They're not like babies otherwise. Yeah, maybe he simply had no life before this. Do you have any idea what might have caused it? Hmm. Maybe I had a really bad breakup? <laughs> okay. I'll give you that one. He was making a laughing sort of noise, but his expression didn't change. You can't see his expression! <laughs> The mask on, there was no way we could tell if he was smiling or not, but his voice sure didn't make it sound like he was. Well, then you don't know that his expression changed. God. Bullshit. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I was waiting in the lobby for a court case. I saw some guy, I think it was a fire extinguisher or something. No, I'm here. Maybe I was a lawyer. Oh, I mean, quite honestly, it's probably a better thing that I'm here than attempting to defend somebody with amnesia, because that would be legal malpractice, am I right? This guy's obviously full of it. Don't tell me you're actually buying this. I don't think it matters at this point. Neil's outburst was greeted with an awkward silence. Was it that we trusted the robot, robot man, uh, per se? Only that it seemed clear he was in the same boat we were. There was a bracelet on his wrist, too. Close inspection revealed that his armor fit around the bracelet. In other words, the bracelet was attached to his arm like ours, and not simply part of his suit. Just like ours, he had a three on it. It said pair below the three, while the text was bright green. Clover's bracelet was, exact, was exactly the same. In, in Phoenix's case, probably not, because it seemed like he remembered exactly fucking nothing about the practice of law. Unfortunately, that wouldn't matter when it came to a malpractice suit. How long had we been there? I still hadn't entirely shaken the last traces of sleep out of my head. My brain felt foggy and cluttered. Had I been asleep for hours? Days? There was no way to know. They'd taken my favorite watch when they grabbed me and given me the bracelet instead. And unless it happened to be 3 o'clock right now, it wasn't going to be very useful for telling time. No windows in the warehouse. It was impossible to even guess what time of day or night it was. Time could have stopped and we wouldn't have had the first idea. Damn it. No dice. This thing won't open. Didn't I tell you that? Hey, hey, I don't need someone with that hat on to tell me I told you so. You fucking little... I need a nickname for him. Wart. We're gonna call him Wart. I just rewatched Sword of the Stone yesterday. So we're gonna... We're just gonna go right along with that. Fucking Wart, relax. Yeah, well, I just thought... There's a box here. Maybe it's some sort of locking thing, like the ones next to the elevators. I don't think it's a card reader, though. Huh? Hey, what do you think that is? What? That graffiti over there. See? On the wall? Oh, yes, that. I was wondering what that was. Two milkmen go comedy. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it's saying that a pair of milkmen decided to become comedians. Still just kind of sounds like nonsense, though. I think it's somebody's way of saying hello. What? 
Yeah, I did. I just... That doesn't make any fucking sense. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's an anagram. Oh... Uh, an anagram? Oh, yeah. They tried a lot of names before they worked it down to Tella. Come on, seriously? You've never heard of an anagram. It's a kind of, um, wordplay where you move the letters around to create something else. <laughs> right? Oh shit, she just roasted him. With that straight ass smile. Exactly. Well done, Fi. Watch. With the tip of her boot, Fi spelled out two sentences in the dust on the floor. Wow, how did you figure that out so fucking fast? I am my kingdom! Welcome to my kingdom. Adrenaline in my soul! Every thought out of control! Ah, today's been tough. Today's, today's been tough. Oh, okay. You switch it around. Yeah, that makes sense. Huh. Hmm. Exactly. Seems like somebody was expecting us, doesn't it? Yeah, but... Where are they? Pretty rude to invite somebody over and not even offer them a drink. True, but you're assuming that Zero isn't one of us. What? <laughs> that was really good. Huh? Her faces also don't match. Her, uh... Yeah. Mm. Look. Over there. Shame on you, Fido. You can't say what Fido. I'm about to say before I say it. Zero. I've got a plan, you know. I can't just tell you everything at once. Although, things are starting to get exciting. <laughs> Bastard. See where I had heard Fi's voice actress before. Yeah, she's in a lot of shit. Sells at work is what I was thinking of. She's the narrator. Who sells at work, which is fucking awesome, by the way. She tells me all I need to know about the human body. Oh yeah, Violet Evergarden. Too scared to come out and face me like a man? Are you an idiot? I'm a rabbit. People who think a talking rabbit is a real thing? Of course I don't. You're some kind of CG rabbit or something, probably. That's not what I meant, though. Oh! 
You meant you want to see the person who's controlling me? Yes, but I touched this one a little too hard. What? <laughs> Weren't you listening to Fido? She's clever, you know. Wait, then you're saying Zero is one of us? Yes. I guess that's one way to put it. Are you really sure? You just, you can't, you can't avoid it. You're responding to our questions and stuff right now. That means you're not just, like, a, a video somebody made. Wouldn't that mean that Zero would have to be controlling you and sending you answers right now? Because it doesn't look like anyone's doing that. Well, of well course done. they aren't. I'm an AI. <laughs> What? I'm an artificial intelligence powered by a quantum computer. Zero is the one who built me, of course. So I guess that makes one of you my parent. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you a mommy or a daddy? <laughs> that would be telling. <laughs> now, with that said, I guess I should probably tell you that I'm not the one who brought you. I mean, obviously, I don't even have a body. I'm just the facilitator for this facility. I just do what I'm told to do. And what do you facilitate? Didn't I say? The game, of course! <laughs> oh, the notary game, Amadex Edition? Correct! It's my job to make sure it runs smooth. No. be a problem long term long term this is going to be an issue <laughs> oh good lord it's supposed to be over there she goes again <laughs> smiling while being crazy she knows something so what is the nonary game nonary refers to a baseline numeral system but can also mean something that is, in some way, related to the number nine. Nona can be used as a prefix as well, or it means essentially the same thing. Therefore, it stands to reason that the Nonary game is a game that deals with the number nine in some way. Exactly. Nine is a very, very important number in this game. After all, nine is your goal. Goal? Yes, goal. You see that door in front of you. That's your door. If you can open the door with an eye on it. Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's go! No! It's supposed to be over! Smile! <laughs> hey, Theo. Thank you for the 11 month re up. Much appreciated, my dude. What do we have to do to open it? Yes, yes, yes. Let me explain. Look at your left wrists. You see the bracelet? No. Of course you do. Oh. <laughs> now, tell me, Fido, what number is on yours? A three. What about the rest of you? They're all the same. We've all got threes. Exactly. I'm going to call those numbers bracelet points. If you're feeling lazy, you can just call them BP. Battle points! Only the people who can get their number to nine or more will be able to open the door with a nine on it and escape. See the box on the wall? That's how you get out. Anyone with a greater than or equal to nine BP can pull that lever and the door will open. However, there are three rules you can't forget. Oh god. Really? Is this really what we're doing? They love their animal puns too much. What? The number nine door will only stay open for nine seconds. When your time is up, it will close automatically. So be careful. Two. The number nine door 
door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. It'll close for good after nine seconds, so if you're not careful, you can get stuck. Three. I love the voice acting so far. She's putting out a good performance. <laughs> Legit question. Uh, well, um, because <laughs> I felt like it. They thought it might make me sound cute. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that face. <laughs> His face is like, oh, are you kidding me? You still haven't told us what we need to know most. How do we get BP? If you like abbreviations, you can always call it the AB room instead. You mean those, uh, elevators? Gold star! So how do we go about using them? How else do you use a room? You go in. <laughs> you mean through those hatches? Oh, I had a hunch you might try that, so I closed those up tight while you were talking. So don't be hatching any hatch plans, you understand? in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this whole warren are under my control. How do we get in then? I tried the doors on the front. They're all locked. There's a card reader next to each one, isn't there? All you gotta do is slide a card through, and there you go. And where do we find those key cards? Well, we don't got them. There weren't any in the warehouse. Oh, uh, uh, well, no. Of course there wouldn't be any there. Then where are they? I think you'll find what you're looking for behind the chromatic doors. <laughs> chromatic doors? Right there! You see the three pretty doors just to your right? Huh? Hold on. I thought those doors were locked. Or... What? You see those buttons on the sides of your watch? Can you press them at the same time? Why? To make little boys ask questions. Just press them, please. <laughs> In fact, why doesn't everybody press their buttons as well? Hey, what's this number? The two digits on the left show hours, and the two on the right show minutes. Does that mean it's 12.10 in the morning? No! Oh, the numbers are going down. It's going from 10 minutes to 9. So, that would mean this must be counting down to something, right? Correct. I don't even need to explain the rest, do I? I'm guessing this is the time until the chromatic doors unlock. Ding, 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 ding! Very impressive, Tenpioli! No. <laughs> Alright, let us review what we learned. In nine minutes, the chromatic doors will open automatically. I was gonna suggest, hey, let's play a drinking game. We drink every time there's a, there's a pun used, but we would die by the end of every stream. However, just like the number nine door, they won't stay open for you. You have five minutes. Once your time is up, the doors will close no matter what. So I hope you've gone through by then. That's just the primary door. <laughs> what? Each door in this warren has a twin. Isn't that nice? The chromatic doors aren't any different. There's 
One door on this side, one door on the other side. Unfortunately, the secondary chromatic door on the other side is locked too. <laughs> Couldn't make it easy for us, could you? Of course you'll all have to split up. Split up? Yep. Cleaver, can you tell me what the three primary Cleaver. colors are? Why are you asking me? I can't. I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble getting past this. Because you're the only person who hasn't talked to me. I try to communicate with as many people as I can. <laughs> it helps me improve, you see. I'm trying to get into the rabbit of doing it all the time. Now, answer my question. God damn it. Do you know what the three primary colors are? Well... Yeah, that's a funny reference. Y you mean red, green, and blue? You're supposed to be able to make any color by mixing them, right? So which colors would you mix to get magenta? Red and blue. How about yellow? Green and red. What if you wanted cyan? Blue and green. That's right! Now... Another look at the nice bracelets you're all wearing. Notice how they come in three vibrant colors? Yeah, yeah. We get it already. The red and blue bracelets can open the secondary magenta door together. Green and red can open the yellow one. And blue and green can open the cyan door. Do you guys notice what color they very intentionally left out? Because it sucks. I miss anything? Wonderful! I think you grab it. about what happens if you've got two of the same color, right? Yeah. What do you think happens? How the hell would I know? If you want to open a door, but all you've got is one color, then you can use that to open a door with the complementary color to the one you've got. Hmm. I see. So if you've got red and red, then you can open the cyan door. So, like a normal person, I tried to open these by, you know, peeling the little tab to pull off. And this is what it did. This is now useless, the seal. And it's all just open. Guess I gotta eat them all in one go to... Keep the freshness. Blue and blue 
can open the yellow door. And green and green can open the magenta door. Right again! Looks like your brain hasn't rotted away yet, Tenmioli. Uh, just what the hell's that supposed to mean? It means exactly what it says. I was trying to compliment you, you know. Oh well. Let's continue, shall we? There are two types of bracelets, pairs and solos. That means there's two types of players, too. Pairs and solos. In this game, the two members of a pair are considered to be a single entity, which means they share the same destiny. Isn't that a good deal? I mean, you get two for the price of one. <laughs> Unfortunately, it also means they pair it. Members of a pair have to go through the same chromatic door. Solos don't have any restrictions like that, though. I mean, why would they? They're forever alone. And that means that they can go wherever they want. Yay! Now, let's take another look at all of your bracelets. We'll start with you, Siggy. What color is your bracelet? Are you a or a solo. Fido is next! Tell us about your bracelet. It's just like Sigma's red in a pair. What about you, alas? It's red, and I'm a solo. Theo, work. Blue, pair. Yeah, mine's the same. Moody, Cleaver, Tamioli, all at once. I'm a blue solo. I'm a green pair. Even in her fucking portrait face, it's bugged. Green solo. And finally, uh, who are you? I'm. Let's see. I suppose you can call me K. I knew it. You were just lying about that amnesia crap. I'm not lying. This was just a. How do I put it? A flash of insight, I suppose. I saw the letter K. So? What does K have to do with anything? I wish I knew. Sadly, I have no idea. Does it mean anything to you? Asshole. Come on now, boys. You can fight later. Now, uh, Kay? Can I call you that? Yes. That's literally what he said! Is you can call me Kay! I'm guessing your bracelet is the same as Clover's. That's right. It says pear, and the text is green. Okay. I'm glad we got all that bracelet business out of the way. Now, let us return to the subject at hand. How do you open the secondary door? So, Siggy, what would you do to get through the magenta door? Well, Fi and I can't split up since we're part of the same pair. <laughs> if we're red, then I guess we should pair up with Luna, right? Since she's a blue solo. Or you could work with Mr. Dio and me. We're blue too. Whoops! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I know this is a very personal, like, humor quirk of mine, but I love when people say whoops. For someone else's mistake. <laughs> Just, I think it's fucking hilarious because it's all—it's so patronizing. Whoops, <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> Have 
want to have exactly three people in your group to open the secondary door. You see how Quirk immediately wanted to jump in our group, though? He knows he knows where the group to be with. I, I respect it. That means you can't have two people, or four people, or well, anything other than three, really. <laughs> then our only choice is to pair up with Luna. And I guess I should probably tell you that the secondary door won't open until the primary door closes. It's made that way to keep out cheaters. We didn't want a fourth or fifth person just running in at the last minute, like, no, wait for me! <laughs> This is, this is honestly one of the best fucking VA performances I've seen in a game in a while. It's really good. It all makes sense. Like, I, I just, I just like listening to the character talk. That's how good it is. It's so, like, manic. I respect really, really good manic performances. Yeah, I'll deal with the puns if the rest of the if the performance is that good. I took a moment to go over everything we'd learned so far. What do I have to do to escape? Open the number nine door. How do I open the number nine door? I have to get nine or more bracelet points, also known as BP. How do I get more BP? I don't have the whole answer to that one yet, but it looks like I have to head into the ambidex room to get it. How do I get into the ambidex room? I don't need a key card for that. Where is the key card? Zero said it's on the other side of the chromatic door. What do I do to open the primary CD? Nothing, actually. It apparently just opens on its own after a certain amount of time. Pressing the buttons on the both sides of the bracelet simultaneously show how much time is remaining. How do I get through the second door? For starters, there's a limit to how many people can go in. Specifically, three people. Combining the colors on the bracelets of those three people gives you the same color as the door. Then the door opens. If everyone has the same color, then you can open doors with that color's complementary color. Matching. Red plus blue, magenta. Green plus red, yellow. Blue plus green, cyan. Complementary. Red, red, cyan. Blue, blue, yellow. Green, green, magenta. I'm gonna forget this. I'm 100% gonna forget this at some point. Although, I guess I could... This is really just base compliments like if i just think about it logically that makes sense although i thought yellow and well yeah okay okay, okay. good Excellent. not really like but none of you have any questions. Yay. huh no wait we have questions of course we have questions what's the point of this game why'd you take us where are we? And who the hell is the real Zero? Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. All right, let's go to the magenta cloak because it's purple. And that's my favorite color. Closest to purple. Closest to purple. Yay! We are gonna open shit. You can take your lamery game and shove it up your ass. Okay. You just made every pun she made before you just said that word seem like genius level by comparison. You think we're just going to swallow your psychotic crap and play along? Your lamery game. Smart ass little rodent. I'm a rabbit. Shut up. Well, shoot. I thought you might say that. Unfortunately... You have no choice but to follow the rules. Why is that? When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. If anyone is left outside after they close, they'll... They'll what? They'll be penalized. You keep saying that. What the hell is this penalty anyway? You explode! Oh. Let's 
contain two drugs. The first is an anesthetic called Soparil Theta. The other is a muscle relaxant called Tubocurarine. Hey, Soparil! Is that from the, the anesthetic from the first game that Ace took? Tubio Cure. Jeez, that's a mouthful. Your bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. No! Oh. I'd be freaked out just by that. If you break the rules, those needles hop out and inject you. First is the silver reel, which puts you to sleep. Nine minutes later, the tubocurin is injected, numbing your respiratory muscles. I guess you could say it'll really take your breath away. You should know that the silver reel is only there out of Oh, and, and I mean the real zero. Mm -hmm. Not me. That's really interesting. So they purposefully made it not an explosive device. They purposely made it a more, I guess you could say, humane way of dying. Zero just doesn't want to see anybody suffer. Isn't that just so compassionate? <laughs> if I had a heart, it'd be melting right now. Anyway, all it means is that you'll die pretty famously, so there's nothing to worry about, really. No, Curare? Cure... Which is... It, is it, wasn't it based off of Curare? Which is that toxin or whatever? Of course, none of that will happen if you just follow the rules. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Well then, looks like it's time for me to hop on out of here. Good luck, guys! That was, that was fine. See you all later! Have a nice trap! Ah! Okay, enough of that. Luna, get your ass over here. So there was poison in the bracelet. It seemed a little hard to believe, but it wasn't like I had anything other than a computer-generated rabbit to say either way. What were we going to do? There was a lot to think about, but we didn't have very much time. What are we waiting for? We need to go. We Agreed. need to get through these other doors. But how do we figure out which door to go through? You still don't get it? <sighs> Fine. Just pay attention. We don't have much time. How about we just throw each other with people and then we'll figure it out Zero's later? You can explain later. was pretty confusing. So let me put it in small words for you. There are only three possible options. Option A. Sigma and I pair up with Luna. Our red and her blue can open the magenta door. That would mean Clover and Kay would go with Alice. There, that just leaves Dio and Quark as the blue pair. And Tenmyoji as the green solo. The only door they can open is the cyan one. Got it? Option B. Sigma and I go with Tenmyoji. So we can use red and green to make yellow for that door. That means Clover and Kay pair up with Luna to open the cyan door. This leaves Dio and Quark with Alice. And together, they can open up the magenta door. And finally, option C would be where we pair up with light colors to open complementary colored doors. That means Sigma, Alice, and I go through the Cyan door. Clover, K, and Tenmyoji go through the Magenta door. And Dio, Quark, and Luna go through the Yellow door. Problem is, which do we choose? Please, Sigma, choose something. What? Wait, what? If Why me? Want to, then maybe our Tenmyoji or Dio or anyone. Just someone who's not me. Once one person chooses, everyone else's decisions will be made for them. But please, you have to hurry. Just fucking make the nut up. Jesus Christ. We're almost out of time. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll pick. Nobody seemed upset, but they probably knew as well as I did. We don't have time for bickering. Take a deep breath and smoke. Okay, fine, I will. I think we'll pair it with Luna and head through the magenta door. Are you guys good with that? All right. Then Clover and I will go with Alice. 
As long as I get to go with Alice, I'm fine. I don't have any objections. Oh, I forgot about that. That's actually really nice. You know, if, if you're a fan of Clover and forgot about the whole in some alternate reality she cleaves you sort of thing, then this is a very compassionate, you know, as, as a player, compassionate choice. I just showed magenta because it's an awesome color. We'll be going through the yellow door, right? That means Dio, Quark, and I are doing the cyan door. Ugh, stuck with a kid and some old fart. <laughs> I can't see how this could possibly go badly. Dude, I would love to go with an old man. Haven't you seen Squid Games, you stupid mother- You want the guy who has the wisdom. He'd be completely incontinent, but if he knows things and can actually recall them, power. Power. You just want to throw your dick in some hole. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and you'll pull your head out of your ass. What did you just say? Did I stutter? Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. I feel like it took ten seconds for the thing to say that sentence. Nine, eight, seven. We need to hurry. All right, guys, let's Three, get moving. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Oh no, we didn't make it in time. We all lose. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. What is Didn't this place? You see the door? It said this is the lounge. Motherfucker, I didn't have time to read. Can't do I even have time to read subtitles when I'm watching a movie? You think I could see lounge as I was running for my goddamn life? Well, there doesn't seem to be much dust. I'm just kidding. I love subtitles. Sigma doesn't though. We're we're we're, we're character building here. Maybe there is. Hmm. So you've got a well-used lounge right next to a big empty warehouse. What is this building for? Beats me. It looks like there are four doors in here. Yeah. The one we came in, the one opposite it, and two more on the left and right. The two on the sides are covered with metal plates, though. Don't think we'll be opening them anytime soon. Guess that just leaves us one option. No good. This one's locked too. I didn't see any other doors in the hallway we came through. Maybe we can find one of the keys to the AB room in here somewhere. Well, it's not gonna find itself. Let's go. Agreed. Okay. Let's get fucking wasted. What is she even doing? Is she trying to make a heart? Wouldn't you just do it with your... <sighs> okay. These 3D models uh, have not been the um, revolution I thought they'd be. They are hilarious. Wanna try some, Luna?
if you drop a comment like that and you're and the person's first response is your face is scaring me, seek help. Is there a maximum number of items we can hold? Oh yeah. Hey, my wife's favorite color is green. That's pretty straightforward. Yeah. yeah, I don't think we can pick anything else up. Oh, wow! Ocean alcohol? Yeah, right? Oh, man. fi has got some, uh, some of her own issues, I see. But with our... Oh my god. Everyone in chat who understands this reference, raise your hand. I'm surprised she gets the reference. Based on this being 2028 20, and what I assume her age is. Which is not older than 28. Considering this cartoon was first released in what, the mid 90s? Yeah, she could. Well, I got to see the source material as it came out weekly. Let me tell you, we were certainly into the Captain Planet. That heart bullshit, though, nobody liked that. And it wasn't a race thing either, I assure you. Don't just assume all old people are racist. What, what's, what's he? Is he, was he Indian or Native American or like, was he actually from India or was he Native American? Anyways, I have a friend. I have a Native American friend, so I can't be racist, obviously. Wow, this is A plus for this reference. <laughs> Island. Yeah, it probably tastes like rum. Looks fucking delicious. Moon sunshine? That shit's gonna be powerful. Oh my god. I'm glad I'm holding this and not Phi. It could be like a fireball. Tastes like, have like a cinnamon taste. Okay, so Phi is an alcoholic. Ooh, we get to make drinks. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we gotta mix the drinks. Oh. Northern Hemisphere. This track is sick, by the way.
Oh, okay. Southern Hemi Hemisphere. Okay, we don't have coverage yet. We need to get the last bum bum. God, I can't. I can't stop. Bet y'all thought I was gonna miss that. Okay, so I need to. This is the. Southern Hemi Hemisphere. This track is so fucking good. This is a perfect, like... Cops are on the way, their way to investigate. Like, from one scene to the next. Where Taylor Tension is building sort of music. Yes, it is a globe. Is there a reason that there's a globe? L R R L R L O E D I I M L I Onan. Do I have to make the drink first? So I'm guessing sun goes with Hey, okay, fuck me then. Why? Oh. There we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
do with it. <laughs> so if I have a drink I don't want... That's what I do with it? Oh, you know what? I need to look at the, uh... Three customers came in today. A couple and their son. The father sat in the center. Mother on the left and the son on the right. Okay. Give the take a to the following. Look, I like my the color red and I like white. My son has always liked ocean. My son has loved the color blue ever since he was a child. My husband was like island. Okay, okay. So we gotta figure out what the drinks are. My wife likes the color red and I like white. My son has always liked the ocean. My son has loved the color blue ever since he was a child. My husband likes island. And I like planet. My mother and I like moon. My father likes anything green. How can you tell which one's lying? I'm guessing... One of them was a liar. Mother on the left, father in the center. I like. Oh, it won't let me do white. Okay. Ocean. One of them was lying.
These are all sunshine. Poison. It's gonna defeat the purpose of the game. Okay, so this is the sun's drink. No, it's not I. It's, uh... So let's just assume for a moment that the sun's lying. Can I take all these at once? I can. Okay. It doesn't matter which glass is which. You just have to... Okay. Okay, fair enough. Alright. Island and green. Red and earth. And the dad liked green and I no green and white island and white no island and green no we're assuming the we're assuming the kids lie I hate how this is inverted. 
I don't make sense, but... Oh... Did I... So it's not the sun who's lying. Hey, Dream Slayer. It does sound delicious. All these sound delicious, TBH. Can you mix two of the other ones together? Just make sure I did this right. Island blue or ocean blue, island white, planet red. It lines up, doesn't it line up with the colors that they said that they like? I think it's gotta be one or one of either the sun or the father that must be lying. Which means, let's try the father. So then the mother would be moon and red. Oops. So... Sun would be moon and blue. So this will be the... Mm, okay. So they won't... Okay. So they won't let you do that. Okay, but here's the issue with that. Doesn't it mean that... Is there any combination besides the one that I just had? 
that allows two, two, and two. Because if we do the mother's lying, then she has no color. If we do the father's lying, then the son has no color. Hey, JB. Is it from his perspective? Can we combine drinks? This? Okay. Just wanted to make sure that wasn't some weird twist that was thrown in later. This was white. Oh. So if the dad's if dad's center, that's always center. If the wife was on the, so it'd be like this. Fuck. Okay, so that's not it. Somebody's lying. Two colors, two, and then. But you can't mix a solid thing and a solid, well, solid, but a thing and a thing. You can only miss a thing and a color. Which means the sun has to be lying. Because no other combination works. The mother's lying, then she'd have planet moon, which doesn't work. If the father's lying, then the sun would have ocean moon, 
which also doesn't work. And the father would also have white green, which wouldn't work. There's something about this that I'm missing in terms of this mechanic. the sun's answer two moons and a green father's was what no none of the other ones have two of the same what does the clock have to do with it all right let me ask this question is the clock something you can actually solve before the cocktail puzzle? Can, okay.
I wish this was something that wasn't just, you know. Red liquor, red liquor. See, that doesn't make sense, though. Ocean, Earth, and what would D be? Yeah, that doesn't. Some letters are in them, I think they're code. Some of them are red, some of them are black. both of these. Okay, so there is one possible way. There's one possible way that someone else can be a liar. Father can be a liar. Wait, 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 wait. Did I screw this up? Oh, I'm a fucking dunce. I'm a fucking dunce.
No wonder this is a problem, because I'm a moron. Okay, let's try this again. So. The father is saying the mother likes red. He likes white, and his son likes ocean. The mother said the son likes blue. Um... The dad liked island. And she liked planet. So in this case... Wait, does this actually change anything? The father's in the middle, here. He likes anything green. So if we cut out this, then it could be White Island. No, but then we still have, we still have, we still have the moon problem. Trying to think if there's a way we can interpret what they're saying slightly different. Anything green. Which the island is also green. But I, that's not what changes anything, is the problem, is even if that's the case. It's not even that, like, I don't even think this puzzles, there's nothing unfair about it. I just, I just am not seeing it. Well, I guess there could be, but I, I'm betting there isn't. Logically speaking, if you just take it on its face, the sun should be the liar. Because the sun cannot 
It's the son's words cannot match up with either of these and it actually consistently make a drink because either the son and the mother are telling the truth but then you can't make the mother a drink or the son and the father are telling the truth but then you can't make the son a drink I guess you... No, you still can't do that. No, you still can't do that. You, you can't make it so that, like, oh, well, this person really meant something else because then that would make two people liars. Except for when the son said my dad likes anything green, which means he could also, like... Uh, I think it was Island is the, is the, is the other liquor that's green. So that would mean that it would have to be. That the the mother and the father are telling the truth because they're the only ones where compliment, compliment, compliment happens. So the son must be lying. But when we did that in either configuration, it didn't work. My son has, it also lines up with what they said. My son has always liked ocean. My son has loved the color blue. Cause like, let's say we're like, okay, well maybe one of them thought, maybe they got this mixed up. Maybe blue is actually ocean or over or ocean is actually blue. So if that's the case, the problem is then that they would either <sighs> The only way it would work if one of was if one of them was a liar. So you'd have to take the liar and say, um, let's say the mother was lying or the father was lying. Or you, no, you'd have to say the mother was lying. Then you could go white o uh, island because anything green, red moon and blue moon. Sun. Moon is yellow.
Ocean is blue. Island's green. Let's take the theme of the game. The theme of the game is that blue, green, and red can create anything. If that's the case, and the moon is yellow, We would have to make each tree so the father's drink would have to be green the mother's drink would be red the son's drink would be blue so what would happen if blue moon Planet is... What was planet? Sun was red. See what I'm, oh, well Okay, so now looking at it that way, planet's the one that seems out of place. And if planet's out of place. Uh I have White Island, Blue Island. Wait. Okay, if this is if this is the problem, then I'm so sad. I should have it should be blue uh
Okay, if this is what it was, I'd be really sad. Oh. I don't know, not that. Maybe this isn't it, but I did just realize that I had the sun's drink wrong. When I tried the reverse. So I was right. So I was right in that. So that my first guess was wrong because I didn't flip it from the bartender's perspective. But once I realized that I had to flip it from the bartender's perspective, I was right. The problem was that I accidentally made the sun's drink wrong. I thought I made Blue Ocean, but instead I made Blue Island. So I was always right that the sun was the liar. I just put it the wrong way the first time, and then when I tried to redo it and flip it, I made the sun's drink wrong. That's my own fault. So I won't say that I was stupid, but I will say that I uh, did not pay attention to detail. And that screwed me. Oh, I do know everything about drinks. It doesn't matter what combination I would have made, it all would have been good. <laughs> Okay, so this is the hidden thing, isn't it? Star, sun, star. Funny is that this this secret I got this secret one way faster than I got the other secret one. I just didn't realize it. Okay, now I actually have to figure out the the not so difficult one. And I'm it has something to do with this. Black and red. Probably. Because I spent so much time thinking about something I already had solved. Yeah, I don't remember, like, anything from the beginning now.
Oh. Oh, I don't want to know that yet. I see various letter er, words. Red, moron, one, lion. I don't know what the letters are supposed to stand for because it's not the liquor because there's no L other than liquor ocean island island liquor island ocean what's, what's, what's the N There'd be no N can we I don't see what this has to do with the clock. The red? that a lot easier. Oh, whoop, that's 55. Green sun. Ah. See now, this is a good example of why I don't like the removal of the lighting of lighting it up, because I I could have sworn I touched the this the first time, but maybe I touched like here, and instead of only lighting up certain parts to know that you didn't check everything, instead of just like blindly clicking around. Red. Wait. Blue planet. Oh, 
Oh, I need to make more drinks. I guess I need to take these back. This is fun, even though I was dumb. I, I like this. I, I like. I generally like this puzzle. I just, I, I really don't like that the game got rid of that functionality. I thought it was actually very helpful in a point and click game like that. Because now you're prone to, oh, well, I just click slightly to the left and, oh, that worked. Whereas I thought what they were talking about referred to the whole thing. planet. Red lion. Red moon. Red moon. So that, that's, that's your, and then it's what, green planet was the other one? Green sun. Uh, but now I'm not sure what order I'm supposed to put them in. I guess we found green sun first. Found green sun first. Would it be green, blue, red? Yeah. Moon, 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 moon. forgot what it was. Oh, it's up here. Okay. Okay. So that definitely took way longer than it was supposed to. So it would seem. Oh, 
<laughs> I even I can't keep you from going in and out of them. That took way longer than it should have, cause mostly cause I'm dumb. Ninety percent cause I'm dumb. Ten percent because the game got rid of the, stu the fucking super helpful light function. You found it. Dunno. Only one way to find hey, out, though. Someone's coming. Ow, it took you guys so long. It's like Alice Clover K. And Dio, Quark, and Tenmyoji. <sighs> What's going on here? To them a little bit ago. Well. Not literally, of course. I don't know. Nobody thought with a you prowl like literally. that. I imagine you run into a lot of things. Let me see the map. <laughs> oh, sure. Three routes end up here. It's the same as the map we found in the infirmary. Infirmary? Oh, we found a map like that too. Ours was in the crew quarters. Oh god, we definitely made the right decision going into the lounge. That's so. We found ours in the lounge. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No, there's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. I agree with her. Actually, in circumstances where you're not timed, maybe you should just... You did, Scarlet. What the...? You did. It's absolutely absurd. Uh, this is just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them, too. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue, and the one on the right is red. Are these chromatic doors? Look, there's a box here. It looks like the ones we saw earlier. Lock, huh? That won't budge. It's just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh Jesus Christ, Max! Wait, does mobilization does mobilization mean like drafting? Well, Trep is Egyptian, so I would be inclined to trust your your judgment there as to what you know whether she looks or sounds.
So why is it partial? like my guess was right but i will say she does look like very much like a hieroglyphic like egyptian like beautiful egyptian princess that you would have seen on hieroglyphs with like even down to the color scheme not just the skin color but like everything else too it does seem very much like that but she might not actually be of course, she could be Alice from the first game, in which case I have no idea how old that mummy was. But she would be Egyptian. Oh, so like all, okay, so you got the the veterans and the reserves, okay. So, right, because the next step would then be the general populace. Yeah, that sucks, sorry to hear that. The numbers have changed. Numbers? Oh yeah, the time left. It's like two hours, six minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? Hmm. Looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Quark, why don't you show them that note we found? Sure. Oh? Did it say something like supplementary rules? Because if it did, we have one too. We found ours in the infirmary. Yeah, we found one too. It was in a safe in the lounge. Here are a few more rules for you. Once you've opened the door, you can hop through as much as you like. Dramatic doors are like that too. Which, yep. Oh yeah, we know this one already. That's true. Then we can all go back the way we came and get I don't to the think warehouse. Zero saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? The Ambidex room key? We found some too. <laughs> Make six then. One for each AB room. Let's head back to the warehouse. Uh, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? If you don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mutt watching the doors out of the right. <laughs> Asshole. You're the asshole well, here. I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. <laughs> well, what's it going to be? There'll be more off. There'll be pretty much the norm for now. Most streams will be in the evening um, for at least a couple months. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. None of them covered entire or huge breasts. So, like, I think it's more of an inspired sort of look as opposed to... Yeah. Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? All right, fine. We're going. easy enough that means we could all go visit the infirmary too or the crew quarters hey grandpa check this out it's 
some of your favorite scotch. Oh. Oh, is that like actually his grandfather? Uh, tempting, but I don't really think now's the time. Whoa, hold on, Grandpa? Since when were they buddies? Or is he just saying Grandpa in like an, uh, just like an honorific sort of way? Or had they always been that close? In other words, they'd known each other before the notary game. Corp was going, Temioji, Grandpa. Maybe they're even related. Alice and Clover seem to be close too. So how many of these people knew each other? Let's go, buddy. As soon as we get out of here, I can drink all the scotch I want. You can drink all the root beer floats you can stomach. What? You're gonna get me a root beer float? But are are you sure? Do you have enough money? Oh, ye of little faith. I found an old factory full of rare earth metals the other day. What the fuck is happening here? Yeah, we don't, nobody knows why. He doesn't even know why he looks like a stand from JoJo. Because he just woke up like that. Oh, you're finally done. You were taking so long. I hopped off for a little nap. Ah, for yawning? Really? You're just a computer program. You don't get tired. Hey, B.O. My temper's got a hair trigger, and you're awfully close to me. So I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Otherwise... Well, you really need me to spell it out. Now forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. Alrighty! Let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. Namely, how do you get more BP? <laughs> we go into the AB rooms, right? Look. Got some keys for them right here. K and Quark have two each, so we've got six altogether. But who goes into what room? Uh, that doesn't really matter. Anybody can go into any room. But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. Then you mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? Yeah. 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 What do we do after we go into the room? Play. A game. Just like it says on the door. You play the Ambidex game! Wait, what's Ambidex supposed to mean anyway? I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands, instead of favoring the left or right. But it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. <laughs> game of betrayal. Well, yes, I guess you could be. What's the notary game? Oh, that refers to the whole enchilada. The notary game is a game where you try to open the number nine door and escape. The ambidex game is just a mini game you play as part of the larger one. Make sense? Like hell. This shit is confusing. Is it? Or is it that you're just a few carrots short of a bushel? <laughs> He swears more than I do. Well, that's just how I am. So you better get used to it. Uh, now, could I have you all move to the AB room, please? <laughs> just casually shifted into a southern accent. I'll give you more specifics once everyone's inside. <laughs> I fucking love the rabbit. Holy shit. Is Zero the Third amazing? 
I'll give you more specifics once everyone's inside. K, Quark, and myself each gave one card to Luna, Alice, and Tenmyoji. Then we headed into the AB rooms. There wasn't really any discussion of who going to which door. And fine, I found ourselves heading into the leftmost room. It's like everybody else has gone in already. Think we should Why head in too? Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. Okay, okay, okay. An Ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. What? This game's got a time limit too? The fuck? What? 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 What, what the hell? Who is this? I know. Look, it doesn't matter who It was rhetorical. Everybody over here. Yeah, right. Hey guys, guys, get over here. We found someone. There's there's a lady over here. She's unconscious. I didn't wait for a response. I just turned around and followed Fi into the room. I knelt down next to the woman, turned her over as gently as we could manage. All that greeted us. Blood. She's covered in blood. I leaned down to listen at her mouth. Nothing. No breath. Shaking hands, I felt against her neck for a pulse. No movement, just cold skin. What the hell are you yelling at? What's going on here? Is she? Quark, don't look! Somebody get Quark out of here! Uh, okay. C come on, Quark. Then she's. Yeah, she's not breathing. I can't find a pulse. Her body's already cold, so I'm guessing she was... I'm guessing she was murdered a while ago. Murdered? Does this look like an accident or a suicide to you? Hmm. Looks like she was stabbed. Don't see a weapon around here, though. That means either the killer took it with them, or... it was part of them. Part of them? Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, and they might be able to stab someone in the heart. Well, Clover and Big Metalhead did come from that room. What are you suggesting? Do I have to spell it out for you, murderer? It's just a joke. Don't take it so seriously. Whatever. If we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Let's get her to the infirmary. She might be old, but she's still a woman. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Come on, boys, let's go. It's just a prank, bruh. D.O.K. and I gingerly lifted the woman up and carried her to the infirmary. Perhaps he just didn't consider himself one of the boys, or maybe it was something else. But whatever the reason, Tenmyoji only stared. His whole body was rigid, like a rope pulled almost to its breaking point. It was his eyes that caught my attention. He wasn't staring at us, not quite. It was more like he was staring toward us, a smoldering spark of something burning silently behind his gaze. It wasn't until we were almost to the infirmary that I realized Tenmyoji hadn't spoken a single word since the moment we found the body. I turned to look back at him. He was following us at a distance, his breathing heavy and labored, and his movements slow and shuffling as if his body was suddenly made of lead. That his fucking wife or something? The rabbit is explicitly not the mastermind. It explained earlier that it was an AI. It is an AI created by the mastermind. So it's not like a Monokuma where like Junko was controlling it behind the scenes because it's been made clear that Zero is one of the people in this group. The old woman's body was surprisingly light. Carrying her felt almost like carrying an old dry piece of wood. 
We set her down carefully in the infirmary bed as if we were afraid she might break. She looks so peaceful. Almost like she was just going to wake up any minute now. Maybe uh, she didn't for that suffer much when she died. Hole in her chest. Let's hope so. Anyway. I feel a little bad about doing this, but I think we need to examine her. You mean like an autopsy or something? I'm just going to have a look at the wound. If we had a coroner, then it would be a different story, but... Um... What? I'm a coroner! medical license? Of course you do. Of course you do. You're a nurse? No. You're a doctor? Well, I'm not exactly a coroner. Interesting. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Sorry. You don't need to apologize. Are you really going to perform an autopsy? Clover's still smiling. I know you can't see it, but just pretend my face is Clover right there. In the upper right. You're gonna perform an autopsy? Oh, um... I won't really be doing it. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. An MRI. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Oh yeah? And <laughs> just how the hell do you remember that? Because Alice, Clover, and I examine this entire room. <laughs> <laughs> Fuckhead! So you think you can use it to perform some kind of yes. autopsy? I think I should be able to manage that. Sweet. Luna ran the scanner over the body, then turned back to the terminal. The display filled up with text, most of it rather technical. Sex female, estimated age 65 to 75, years of age, diagnosis, deceased. Cause of death, ex exan exsanguination. I don't, I know it's sanguinate. I've never seen that word though. Ex exsanguination? Estimated time of death, three to four hours ago, damaged trajectory, weapon entered through fourth intercostal piercing heart. Characteristics, margin clean, continuous, one sharp, one blunt, 150 millimeters. Wow. Length 30, width 3. Based on the characteristics described above, there's a 95% chance the wound was caused by a sharp, single-bladed instrument. Well, I know it's blood loss. Because sanguine, like... Doesn't that refer to, like, draining blood or something like that? I know in fantasy it always be like, sanguine, 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 you know, whatever. And it was always like a drain life sort of situation. Huh. Yeah, I don't really get it. What's it mean by instrument? She stabbed with a clarinet or something? I'm really tempted to end stream right there. I am really tempted to end stream right there. That was possibly the worst line by any main character we have had any experience with at least within the calendar year of 2022 no uh devin told me to hold off well devin said that the golds might be, be kind of spoilery so then i made the decision to hold off on reading them related to blood probably possum yeah i mean how many died the first game. Four? Five? Oh, no, Ace. Yeah, no. Wait, three? What's it mean by instrument? Was she stabbed with a clarinet or something? 
At least Clover's not saying it! It means a tool of some sort. A knife, probably. In other words, she was stabbed in the heart, right? Yes. Well, I suppose that clears me of suspicion. Sorry, but no. Why? Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. I told you that was a joke. Then why am I still a suspect? We found the old lady in one of the AB rooms. Specifically, the one farthest to the left. Before we went in there, only two other people had been in that room. Well, yeah, but I'm thinking of the canon timeline. Sigma with a clarinet? Oh, God. You and Clover, only one of you was conscious. Fi, please, stop joking around. I assure you, there was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. She must have been put there later. But the door was locked, right? I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Perhaps, but... There was a hatch on the ceiling, remember? Yes, there was. But Zero said he locked all the hatches. <laughs> well, if he was telling the truth, nobody could have gotten in there after you two left. Which means... Fucking bastard! Why'd you kill her, Kay? I knew it. You're him, aren't you? You're the real Zero. Okay, but if he was Zero, why would he... Like, it would be so obvious that it was him right now. Like, it's too obvious because of where the body was found. No way Zero outs himself immediately like this. Wait a minute, please. Just calm down. You aren't making sense. Let's suppose I am Zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? I'm gonna... I'm going to give you guys a little pointer here. Um, when we're talking about debating argument, you know, that sort of thing. And we all fall victim to this. I still fall victim to this at times. What he just said. Never say that. If you can help it. Saying calm down. Or let's calm down. That's all of us referring to all of us, not just aimed at one specific person is fine. You're not making sense. However, is specifically antagonistic. Don't ever say that. You can provide your argument after people are calm as to show them why they're not making sense without needing to say that they're not making sense. Wayne's argument 101 of the day. It might be something that we all inherently th know, but we don't necessarily consciously think about. And so every once in a while it slips out. So I'm hoping then by actually calling attention to it, that it might be something that comes up in your head. Like, Oh, I normally wouldn't think about this, but now I got it put in my head that maybe I shouldn't do this. When you are trying to debate with somebody openly antagonizing them is literally the worst thing you can do because it will inevitably entrench them further into their own, um, into their, their position. And, Cause this is a type of antagonism that's, he's, he's not meaning to make him mad, right? He's trying to prove himself instead of just like shitting on him, but he's doing it in a way that comes off the same way. I mean, you could, yes, you're right. You, you could even remove the word rebuttal and it's just fluff in between what he's saying. Like, negative fluff. Uh, well, because... Focus on the why. Because you figured we'd think that. And you'd throw us off the trail by doing the exact opposite. That's not a logical argument. Still, you do have at least half a point. Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt, but it does show us where we should be looking. The real Zero. 
The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? I guess... I'm not the only one seeing this shit, right? It looks like she is posing for a photo shoot. Like a swimsuit photo shoot. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad nobody warned me of this ahead of time because it makes it that much more hilarious. Yeah, I think, I, I think you're right. She's supposed to be, like, kind of thinking, like, huh. But the wink and the smile? are That's not the face she should have here. <laughs> I am taking several of Clover's expressions, and we are making emotes out of them. Because they are, like, so awkwardly hilarious. Yeah, that makes sense. If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? I live in the master computer. I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this... What? That sounds like those dumbass pornos where somebody's like, Oh my god, I'm stuck in the table just with my ass out. Whatever am I going to do? Oh hey, step bro! Can you help me get out of this table? Only if you let me fuck you. Ah, god, I guess I don't have any other choice! So it's God. Exactly. Also, consider this. If the murderer isn't Zero, why would the AI Zero stay silent? He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly, but now the unexpected has happened, and he says nothing. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. So why has he kept his silence? The answer is simple. The murderer is Zero. Or rather, Zero Senior, I suppose you could say. He likely ordered Zero Junior, the AI, to keep his identity hidden. If Zero Junior told us about the murder, then Zero Senior's identity would be compromised. I thought he said he was Zero the Third. That wouldn't be Junior then. Junior would be the second. There was something else to consider as well. Get it right! Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Zero Senior murdered her, just as planned. Death is only another part of the game. Killing someone is just part of a game to him? Well, 
There's no way to know for sure, but I would assume so. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Two hours have passed? All players, please enter your votes. Yeah, exactly. Bro. That's... That's... That's absurd. That's absolutely absurd. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Oh, right, right, right. That one was only 45 minutes. The doors were the two hours. That's right. Whoa, what was that? Clover's just like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh. You may send me all of your donations. <laughs> For I am the real writer of this game. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh god. Clover, S tier. S tier. Unintentionally S tier. Well, one thing's for sure. And that is? If we don't go vote, something bad's going to happen. You see, just as I said, Zero Junior ensures the game continues, even though someone has died. So, interestingly, it seems like his eyes actually move somehow. Like, it, like when he was, had his head down, it, they were like angled instead of horizontal. All of this is part of Zero Senior's plan. Which means there is an expression that changes. Let's get back to the warehouse. If we all head to the A-B rooms, maybe we'll see Zero Junior. After all, he told us he'd give us specifics once we'd gone in. Really going in there? I kind of don't want to. I mean, there was a dead lady in there just a few minutes ago. Oh, wait. Fi? Where'd you go? Here. Up. Oh. Whoa. What the hell is she doing? She got them booms. So, I, I just want to say that I, I liked the first game soundtrack a lot. This soundtrack's already better. Because I feel like I have not heard one track that wasn't just a fucking ba Even this. It's a chill banger. And part of the reason why I could stay forever in that lounge is because that track was... Oh. Oh. Easy to not get frustrated or flustered when the music is so good. A changer, there you go. A changer, chill banger. You must be really desperate to get high. Seriously? 
that's the best you can do? Okay, for someone else that's been throwing around some lame ass jokes, I think you owe me one. You, you, you give me one. I was expecting something about how I jump at the first sign of trouble. That's what a five year old would say. <laughs> Whatever. What are you up? What are you up to up there, anyways? Everyone's already gone into AB rooms. Yeah, well, there was something I wanted to check out. This and that thing. Is? Remember it? Also, hold on. This is something where it's like a suspend disbelief sort of thing. Yes. I was going to say very few MRIs are ever that short. It would have been what, like five minutes between taking your deciding to put her in there at least five to ten minutes. Which means it took at least like 25, it took about 25 minutes maybe to do that MRI. That's really fast. Not to say that it's impossible, because it's not, but that's really fast. The hatch? Try opening it. No luck. No mm. budge. Then that means this AB room is locked down tight. No one could get in. Talking about whoever killed that old lady, aren't yeah. you? Still think it's K, huh? Well, like Clover said, Zero Senior is the killer. If Zero the First is the killer, then it wouldn't matter if we could open this hatch or I not. I know. I just wanted to be sure. I guess this could be Zero the Second, too. But you still wouldn't say Senior and Junior. That would be wrong. I thought Zero the Second and Zero the Third. Five minutes remain until Abadex Game Polling closes. Let's go. I imagine Algernon's waiting for us. Uh, he's a rabbit. Look, there's something on the screen. Yeah, you're right. Well, looks like there's no going back now. Observation. Hooray! Everybody's finally here! I've been waiting. So have we. Got some questions for you, Zero. Who's that old... Oh. Will all of you please stop bombarding me with questions? The all? That means that Siggy 
Mimi and Fido will be playing against Mimi. And it goes the other way too. Mimi's opponent will be Siggy and Fido. Obviously, that means Potassium and Cleaver's enemy will be... Potassium! <laughs> How often do you make a nickname significantly longer than the real name? And Bio and Quark's enemy will be Ten Me Oldie. Well, I guess enemy isn't really the right word, is it? After all, if you choose ally, then they're your ally. What? Don't get it? Don't get it? Well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. Is that a Clarissa Explains It All reference? Did we have two mid 90s shows references in one stream? Because that's pretty great. First, I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A, ally, and B, betray on it. Do you? This is like if Junko was just Monokuma. Like, instead of it being Monokuma, it was just... Ju like, Mon the Monokuma persona, it was just Junko as the bear. All you guys have to do is pick! Just pick one of those easy options! Your DP will go up or down, depending on what you pick. It's a little complicated. And some of you are a little slow. So, <laughs> I made this empty chart. The plus and minus are from your point of view. Choose ally, and so does your opponent. You'll get two DP, and so will they. And you'll all get a nice warm fuzzy feeling inside. We call that the best pals outcome. Just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Next is what you get if you choose ally, but your opponent chooses to betray. If that happens, you lose two DP, and they get three. We call that the stupid jerk face outcome. <laughs> okay, so here's the issue. The people that are solo have a huge advantage here. Somebody did that to me. I'd skin them and stew them with some tires. The third choice is the opposite of that. It's when you choose betray, but your nice, innocent opponent chooses ally this time you're the one who oh loses never mind DP, i'm an idiot they're the one who loses too i'm i'm dumb i'm dumb we call that the serves them right outcome i mean what were they thinking choosing ally was a stupid choice and there's nothing for you to feel guilty about and finally the very last scenario this is when you choose betray, and so does your opponent. If that happens, neither of you guys will lose anything. Absolutely zero change in BP. <sighs> Boring. We call this the why even bother outcome. <laughs> As the game master here, this is the situation I want to avoid the most. You're probably wondering about the pairs, aren't you? Let me explain. Remember how I told you that both people in a pair share a destiny? Well, that applies here, too. The two of you only get one vote. You get to choose once between ally or betray. That doesn't mean you split your points, though. You both get three points, or lose two points, or whatever. In other words, what you see on this chart is what you get. Okay then, I think that about does it for the basic rules. Well, actually there's a little bit more, but... It'll just have to wait, I guess. 
if your BP drops below zero, do you die? Or drops below one, I should say. Hey, no. wait. I won't wait and I can't wait. Didn't you hear me? It is time. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. You see, it's time for me to be hopping on out of here. See you later. Have a nice trouble. We don't have time to talk about this. Choose betray. What? You're kidding. You really want me to betray we Luna? I don't know if she'll ally or not. If we choose ally and she chooses betray, we're screwed. That's a loss of two points. Dog, she's a doctor. She swore a Hippocratic oath. She will never betray. You tell me, Sigma. What's three minus two? What kind of idiot do you think I am? It's one, obviously. Exactly. If our BP gets down to one, it's over. So... Wait, what do you mean by it's over? 30 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Just press the damn button! You're hiding something. Yeah, you've been suspicious from the get-go. I mean, how'd you know my name? Or how about when we found that old lady's body? You didn't even blink. Almost like you knew she would be here. Look, I don't want to believe it, but did you... are you? Fine. If you won't do it, then I... Don't think so. I'm not gonna move until you give me some answers. I don't do anything. I'll just... It'll just vote a lie for us anyways. So let's hear it. What are you hiding? What's it's over supposed to mean? Ten seconds remaining. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. When your BP hits zero, you die. That's what I meant. One. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Because I'm just a great guy. Who believes in the kindness of strangers. Not at all. But I like to try to be my idealized self in these games. And idealized me does that. Idealized me is Makoto Naegi. It's fine. I stepped out of the AB room. I could see the others running toward the monitor, shoving and pushing to get closer. Tenmyoji was left behind, his footsteps a slow, heavy plod. What had happened to make him like that? What was that, Sigma? Huh? Don't play dumb. You chose ally, didn't you hear me? I told you that if your BP drops to zero, you die. Yeah, I heard you. A whole second before the deadline. How can you expect me to think anything through that quick? It would have taken like half a second just to process what you no, said. you could have done it. The brain's processing power increases during a crisis. It starts working so fast that a second can seem like an eternity. Your brain was doing that right before time ran out, wasn't it? Well, am I wrong? What the hell are you talking about? Okay, fine. Let's be generous and say, hypothetically, that you're right about this crisis overclocking thing. How would you know whether or not my brain was doing that? Did you crack open my skull while I wasn't looking? Oh god, this is a stupid fucking argument. You just wedge a microscope in there and have a look at my neurons? Let me be straight with you. Your shit is whack. Oh, who the fuck localized this? Your shit is whack. Like hella whack. I mean, you just know stuff you shouldn't. Stuff like my name, or how you if your BP hits zero, you die. You told me you don't know why, but more and more I'm starting to think you've been lying to me. Yo, what's up? Oh god. Here we go, another late 90s reference. Results. 
Apparently I don't know the Sigma mindset. Let's go. Time to see what the results are. Maybe it's different this time. <laughs> huh? This time? Hey! Fly, hold on! Shit! Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally, let's get ready to rock! Ambedex game! Round one! The results! If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Let's go! Wow, what a bunch of dickheads. Why in the world I can't see Clover choosing to betray Alice, her friend? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Same thing with Quark and Tenyoji. What the fuck? Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Thanks, Luna. Oh, no, it's nothing. You don't have to thank me. I only did what anybody would have done. <laughs> Should you see what those other fuckheads did? I believed in you and Fi. Oh, Luna's precious. When Luna glanced away, I threw Fi what could only be described as a smug grin. That's self-satisfaction right there. That's the other reason why it's great to choose a lie. Because if you are chosen right, you get to be... You can you can perch yourself on the highest ivory fucking tire tower on top of a white riding a white horse. Just you are the uh, you are the paragon of the world. And you just get to sit there and let everybody know that you are. Whereas if you betrayed her, even if you got the plus three points, you'd have to be all awkward like, Oh, sorry, yeah, I'm a dick, my bad. <laughs> Rather frustratingly, she didn't respond, only turned away unperturbed. I was about to press the issue when I heard Tenryoji's voice. Quark, what happened? No, no, it wasn't me. Mr. Geo tricked me. He told me he'd pick Ally. He, he he promised! That's why I let him do the voting! Is this true, Dio? Are you serious? This kid's full of shit. What? What? Who's he gonna believe? His fucking grandson or somebody he's close to, whatever, or you? I didn't do squat. Quark was the one who decided how we were gonna vote. And you wanna know what he told me? You just leave the voting to me, Mr. Dio. Grandpa's gonna choose to ally for sure. Because I'm his opponent on this one. I think we should betray him. <laughs> this is... Completely full of shit. To be honest, I'm getting kind of tired of that grumpy old bastard. He's had a good life, but... It's time for him to go. That's what Dio would say, not Quark. What do you say we leave the old bar here and leave? I've got a plan. See? Don't worry about me. I'll just tell him you tricked me. He'll believe whatever I tell him. Besides, if he still trusts me, that'll make it easier to use him again later. What do you say, Mr. Dio? Pretty good plan, huh? All right, let's do it. Yeah, you're lying. I never should have trusted you. Dio, you're a lying jerk. Sure, kid, keep whining. See if I care. 
Grandpa! You believe me, right? Don't let this brat fool you, old man. Yes, he did call him an old, old fart. That these are those are literally all words that Dio has said and Quark has not. All of this is just part of his plan. You bastard! Well, now he said bastard there, but I'm not gonna let you get away with this! <laughs> That's enough, Quark. Don't lose your temper. How long have I known you? <laughs> I could be deaf and blind, and I'd still know if you were lying to me. Really? <laughs> You're just as gullible as he said you'd be. Hook, line, and sinker. Let me give you a little warning, Tenmyoji. That little shit is a hell of an actor. I'll bet you money he's a born con man. I don't know what he is to you, but if I were you, I'd trust the kid as far as I could throw him, and at your age, that can't be much. You hearing me, old man? Keep an eye on him. Although- It's all right, I understand. Although, I guess I don't get the point of Dio sowing dissension between his partner. He's paired with him. It behooves him to get along with his partner. I'm so sorry. <laughs> who, who believes Clover? <laughs> Who believes Clover based on this expression? Anyone? Anyone at all? I apologize. This is very unfortunate. It looked as though another argument had taken place while Quark and Dio were fighting. Whatever it had been about, it appeared to have resolved itself. The past is the past. There's no point complaining about it. I'll just have to try and get those points back in the next AB game. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get nine VP? That's impossible without a second round. Oh, yeah. I guess you got a point. You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. Right, you are. So, let me just close up. Ambidex gates have closed. Round two of the Ambidex game will be the moon round. Moon cards will be required to open the gates. Moon cards? Does that mean we can't use these cards anymore since they've got suns on them? Yes, indeedy. Now, you'll have to equip guards with moons on them. So... How many times do we play the A-B game? I don't know. As many times as you need to. It's anybody's guess how long it'll be. But I plan on keeping this party going until somebody opens the number nine door. So it's over when someone gets nine BP. Nope. As long as that person doesn't open the number nine door, the game goes on. Oh, that's interesting. Of course. You could also get stuck just below 9BP, where every bunny just keeps going. After all, if there's no bunny with 9BP, the door can't open. If that happens, you'll just have to continue on to round 3, and round 4, and round 5, round 100, round 2000. You might even go all the way up to round 24,009,4897. <gasps> I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. If all we had to do was get to nine, why the logical thing to do is just always a lie. If everybody always lies, they'll hit nine eventually. It'll just take one extra round. <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? But now that strategy is fucked. I don't know. Can you? Shut up. 
There's rules about who can go into the secondary doors, right? Like, you have to have three people yeah, exactly. So? Well, what about the number nine door? Are the rules the same? Yeah. There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that door. It could be one person, or two people, or even all nine of you. Uh, <laughs> there is one thing I see. All that stuff about how you have to have three people to go through the secondary chromatic doors, maybe it's not 100% true. What? Well, what do you mean? You can open the door with just one or two people if you want. That's not what you told us. Well, I didn't want to make things complicated. Can you explain it now? Just use the bracelets. What? How? There's a sort of scanner between the two rooms. It checks to see if the right people are going through. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning the people. So, it's scanning the bracelets then? Ding, ding, ding! As long as the scanner sees the right combination of bracelets, it doesn't matter how many people there are! But wait, hold on a minute. These things even come off? No. Yes! They do indeed. Then, then how do I take it off? Well, there's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door and escape. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks all by itself. What's the second way? Die, motherfucker! Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, Bio. I think you already know. What? Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? Of course I do! No, oh, well, I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You die. a bunch of faint electrical impulses. You know what an electrocardiogram is, right? Technically, it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium, but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep, 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 beep. When someone dies on a TV show. <laughs> The point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, when that signal goes away... The lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there you go. The second way. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. <sighs> Apart from that, there's no other way to get the bracelets off. If you try something harebrained, like trying to break them or something, you'll be disobeying the rules. I don't think I need to remind you what happens when you do that. But if you're lucky, you might get to see a few of them come off during the next round. <laughs> Oops. I guess it's not going to be very lucky for some of you, huh? <laughs> Next round. Uh, yep. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? <laughs> Somebody might die during the next round of the AB game. There. That's pretty clear, right? If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be ten Miyagi or less. One or the other. Or <gasps> it might be both of them. <laughs> what? Why am I going to die? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized. Just like when you break the rules. I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is. You mean the needles on our bracelets are going to activate and we'll die? Correct, Ziggy. Full marks. So... If I had been right, how would she know before Zero told us? I see. Alice and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. 
<laughs> Sorry's not going to cut it. It's gonna have to. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well, is there anything else you conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. After all, it's not like anybody else knew. Right? Right, Fido? Yeah. I guess so. I took a moment to go over everything in my head. The AB game would continue until someone opened the number 9 door. There are no rules about how many people could or could pass through the number 9 door. That meant it was possible for everyone to escape. The secondary chromatic doors could be opened by any number of people so as long as you had the right colors. The bracelets would only unlock under two conditions. If you left the building or if your heart stopped. If your BP hit zero, the needles in your bracelet would activate, killing you. Uh-oh! One last thing. The next set of chromatic doors you'll be going through are downstairs. You already saw them. There should have been three. Red, blue, and green. That means that to get through, you'll need bracelets in cyan, magenta, and yellow. But wait! You've already got those bracelets! Have a look! The color's changed, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it did change. Mine changed from red to cyan. Me too. Mine cyan now. Mine too. Wait. I guess the colors weren't the only thing that changed. It switched from pair to solo. You're right. Mine switched from solo to pair. Oh shit, we get Alice with us. Mine is now a solo as well. Yep, looks like mine's changed too. I've gone from solo to pair. I'm still a pair. The three of us seem to be magenta now as well. I'm yellow, and it still says solo. Fi, you and Dio are yellow now too, right? Yeah. Looks like I'm a pair. When did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too! You know, it's the little things, Scarlet. And of course, it's totally random. I'm sure. No rules or anything! Now, with all of that explained, I must bid you adieu. And so shall I. We'll be back Thursday evening. Hopefully with a little more progression and less stuckiness because Twain's a moron. That'll be the intent, at least. All right. Thank you to Theo for the re-up on the membership. Thank you to CJ for the $5 Canadian. Like I said, Thursday night. So, roughly the same time. Um, so... It, We'll start roughly around the same time on Thursday. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. This is a blast. I will see you all next stream. Until next time, peace out. R1. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You got this. Okay, you got an S. That's an S-ish.